Big ass though. How the fuck he's supposed to push this down? Let's in the Zelda dungeon door. Yeah, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought he was going to push the whole door. Tired of waiting to see the next episode reaction? Why not join the Patreon? You can gain access to reactions that have been uploaded weeks in advance before they land on YouTube. Most of all, you can watch the full-length versions without the annoying copyright filter and subpar audio for just $5 a month. If you want to take your loyalty even further, you can watch our non-animated related reactions as well as submit requests for just $10 a month. So stay ahead of the curve and help us sustain the brand. Thank, Thank you! you. What's going on you guys? This is your boy RVG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with my lovely wife Johnny V on the ones and twos, and this is we to the reactions, the place we react to everything we've never seen, y'all. And today we're gonna to be reacting to a special anime that's been recommended to us by the graceful patrons over on Patreon. Tier 3 that is. Today we're gonna to be reacting to Rankings of the Kings, or something along those lines. Rankings of Kings. Yes, correction on that. Ranking of Kings. Ranking of Kings. <laughs> Something along those lines. Yes. Um, <laughs> have no idea what this show is, guys. I don't even know what the fuck. Let me get out of my little... I don't know what accent that was, but it was terrible. Whatever. I have no idea what you were trying to be like. Were you trying to be Scottish? I was trying to mix in with this whole thing, which I'm guessing is going to be like a magical epic quest. You know what I'm saying? Like what this guy's going to be going on or whoever it is. I, don't I know. have no idea what's going on with this anime. Um, it was recommended. I have seen people talk about it. No idea what it is, what it's about. I have no idea when it came out, how new or old it is. I have no idea. Me neither, man. I, I just know a lot of people, you know, like you say, they've been buzzing about the shit. And I don't know what the animation even look like. So it's going to be either. interesting I've seeing this. Seen in regards to this show, so right, I guess we can jump in with both feet. I guess, yeah, I just want to advise you guys that we're going to be watching it in English dub because it's more convenient for us to watch it in dub as opposed to sub because my baby can't see that well, man. You gotta blame see. it on me. I mean, it is your fault, whatever. I'll take the blame. I don't want to watch something in a language that I don't have to watch it in if I don't have to. Right, I mean, I ain't had no problem with either. It's just he doesn't it. care, but um, <laughs> as care. he said, my eyeballs, no. Yeah, so we're going to jump into this, man. This is episode one titled, The Naked Prince. What the? Really? Okay. The Naked Prince! Oh, Prince. Oh. Are they bullying you again? Tom Scum. Never you mind them. You are stronger than they know. You can persevere through all of that ugliness. Either she's really big or he's really small. You must become the greatest king in all the world. Promise me. <laughs> so what the hell? This seems so chibi and like a gag manga style anime. They wanted us to watch it. What is this? The Emperor's <laughs> new clothes? She and Chan, little brother. Let's go. This camera looks. Uh oh! Shine brighter than anyone. Oh, put a little funk on that thing in there. Right? Throw a little funk on there. Put a little there. bit on there. I gotta see how the animation looks when it's like action. Mm -hmm. Well, whoever sang it is singing it. Right? Yeah, BTS on this shit. You just say anything. <laughs> <laughs> My man's shoulders over there though. It wasn't too bad, y'all. It wasn't. Y'all know I'm not too keen on the opening. That was pretty good. <laughs> the prince's new clothes. I knew that's what that was supposed to be. Mm. Your thief. This thing. Who the heck are you? Hey, get back here. <laughs> it was Venom. Really? Oh my god, step on this thing. What's your deal, kid? You can't talk or something? And you can't hear either. 
going to make it kind of hard to get the idea across. Uh, 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 Guess you're telling me you don't have any money on you. Uh, hey, don't go changing the subject. If you got no money, then take off your clothes and leave them with me. Oh, that's how you ended up butt naked walking through the damn city. Uh, Here on us less fortunate types. Why? Hmm. You show some promise, you know that? Hey. Now come I... back here tomorrow with some more fancy clothes. And hey, don't tell anybody about this, alright? Yeah. He signed the damn creeper. My guess is he was waylaid by a highwayman and lost his clothes. But wasn't he smiling just now? <laughs> He's an idiot. Deaf and mute to make matters worse. And to top it off, he can barely swing a children's sword from what I've been told. Aww. A real waste of a prince. And that poor baby don't even know what they say about him. And that's good. I'm glad right. he don't know. Because, I mean, he, he's feeling He's not hurt. coming. How the hell does he know? This is how they will become partners in crime, mm -hmm. yeah. He he understands ah and e and oo. Come on, guy, bro. You ain't gotta give him all your shit. Boochie woochie. Never met anyone like that. But I'll get quite a bit for his clothes. Might as well stick What the fuck is this thing's purpose, though? And this nigga just keeps on coming back. But of all the jokes, of course, it's really because of me. I've seen him out of his clothes every day lately. Who knows what will become of us if he ends up our next kid? Hey, why don't you have any clothes? Did she just say that? I can't hear them. You three! The prince isn't able to hear anything. Yes, yes. Why not? Some people have ears, but still can't hear. Then he can't hear us if we say mean stuff. You big dummy! Oh, easy now. I'm pretty sure you can hear that. So you... Can't you say anything? <laughs> oh my god. Leave me. Like, they sitting there laughing and they sitting there poor. How is he going? <laughs> right? And they the real idiot. Yeah, but kids, you know how kids are, man. Yeah, kids is bald headed because their parents is bald headed. This is where the little runt lives? I don't know why, but that kind of bugs me. He came back here naked again. It's sad to see. He doesn't even understand how big of a fool he is. You walked out among the public undressed. And what, pray tell, compelled you to do that, Prince Boji? Most likely. Oh, she's the mother the of the second prince. Mm -hmm. So he must got all kind of concubine <laughs> stepmoms up in that bitch. Pathetic. But no, there's hardly a need. Clearly, this boy is not fit to be a king. Oh my god, don't say that. Don't translate that. It couldn't be clearer that Dida is more apt for the throne. See what you got a long ass nose. He appears to be rather shocked at what I just said. I thought he couldn't hear me. That is our understanding. Let's be off. How can it be that he is next in line for the throne and not mm. Dida? Does merit count for nothing? Boy, you this shit reminds me of Ultra in Mill. Right. It is a woman Even just course, like that in the show I'm watching. Tyler, she's just crazy. Is that a queen? This makes me understand some of these hoes out face. here. Pretending not to understand. You hear it all, man. Say so maybe some Hold of you hoes, y'all just want a friend, and y'all think y'all supposed to take y'all clothes off mm. just somebody, so somebody could talk to you. So I feel bad for y'all. You're a member of the Shadow Clan. Ah, that despicable clan of assassins. I was told they've been wiped out to the very last. 
You're still just a child. Now, what the big ones look like, though? That's what I want to know. I thought that was a grown man. This thing got some timber in his voice. Big ass, though. How the fuck he's supposed to push this down? Let's in the Zelda dungeon door. Yeah, right? Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> I thought he was going to push the whole door. Prince. He's so cute. <laughs> So I get him a plushie. That's all he likes. You just bought me one plushie. Don't be trying to buy me another one now. Right. Even through their grave losses, the villagers continue to fight with all they had. What is that? Until at last the land itself is engulfed by the monstrous horde. Mm. The villagers curse their fate. Who is this? The Ox King? Nowhere, a great man strode forth. Let's go. Hey. And fought back. Yeah. <laughs> it might be. I'm like a dynasty warrior game. Yeah, nigga, bow down. Yeah, it's gotta be him. He got like scars all over his body. Boss. I like that. Then he ended up getting all the water about the town in a state of undress. What is the meaning of this? We of the royal family will show the bearing our subjects expect of us. <laughs> oh, you Were see. you attacked by bandits? Or perhaps simply being bullied? In any case, you are ultimately responsible for being in that situation. <coughs> King Boss! Calm yourself. Your hands are soft and weak. And died as a swollen... Is this a black person? From his <laughs> yes. Efforts. He caught. Look like Drake. You left your training in the hands of Jonas, the most capable swordsman of the land. You could surely become stronger. Domus. Majesty. You are to be more rigorous in teaching the prince swordsmanship. Aye. And you must learn it well, my dear son. Now go. <laughs> so who hired you to come here, <laughs> and who did they hire you to kill? Boy, bomb boy, I was looking, dude. Yeah. I'm not gonna kill anyone. I already told you I don't do that. <laughs> oh wow. Assassination has always been the Shadow Clan's livelihood. They were once the chosen assassins for the Kingdom of Bo, and when they pledged loyalty to a ruler, they'd never betray them. Don't you dare talk about that. But it seems something changed. They tried to kill their king, and in return, they were eradicated. Isn't that right? So, you better start talking. <laughs> hey, did you get him? <laughs> I hope he, he escaped. He asked him to start talking. Hiding in the shadows. I That's see. how you do it, boy. Where you snakes no, coming from? No, I don't suspect he poses a real threat. You can find out this nigga's a hentai dungeon master. On some ninja scroll shit. My good day to you, Prince Dida. So, how is my brother? Is he showing improvement in his training? <laughs> How about a brief pointing over there? Me. Right, you already know who saying that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I believe that would be prudent. Then instead, Jonas, may I spot that with snobby you? snout with me? Yes, it surely wouldn't do any harm, would it? Well, perhaps. I heard he easily defeated the top captain in the Order of Bebin, and that made him cocky. Against Boy. my inclination, I mm. accept. Oh, this nigga. Mm -mm. He got Ooh. the Watatare stance over <laughs> here. That intensity. He's the spitting image of King Boss. Really now? Okay, Hinton Shitsurugi style. I like this animation, man. It kind of has a unique. He's it's very unique. Don't tell me this dude is gonna turn on the other plants. <laughs> Whoop his ass. He's my little. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, nigga. He's probably just so excited to see him. <laughs> he is so oh, adorable. Here. You are magnificently skilled. His pride is hurt. Arthur mode. the sword like a king I want to teach this boy 
Who's Boji? <laughs> oh, the little broom handle. What's this now? You mean to fight me too? He's so adorable. Got to level up a little bit, homie. Huh? Crying out loud. I follow a little twerp back here and look what I get tangled up in. I gotta get out of this creepy place. Hey, did you hear? Word is that Prince Boji and Prince Dida are having a fight. Let's go watch. This bow's what happened though? Right. Did he save him? Match will hereby commence. He has to have some kind of unique he gotta technique. Have some. He can talk to a shadow dude. Right. Maybe that's his thing. He's kind of like Black Bolt from Marvel. Who the hell is this? You could have just stood up regular. His pupil has challenged yours to a contest of sword play. Well, we all know the outcome is hardly in And this nigga probably sick the snakes on brother, I won't hold back. Ah. Ah. Let's go. Begin. Oh! <laughs> the finesse. <laughs> I knew it. That time wasn't a fluke. Hey. <laughs> he made the snake tangle themselves up. Right? Look at him. Man? Go for it. Got a straight ex well, not even a straight expression. It's kind of weird, but. Get his ass. <laughs> yeah. Cluck. Point. <laughs> he hit him. He dodged and countered. Hey, not mm -hmm. bad. You're not bad at all. Gonna tell that, homeboy. That was a great, great first impression. That was a great first episode. That, it had me in the first few seconds. I'm not gonna lie. I was looking at that like, who put this raggedy animation together like this? Um, that's what I thought at first, but then I just so quickly grew to love it. It's just so cute and so simple. And this character is just so cute and just so adorable, y'all. I just yeah, he love definitely him. he's, he's the like perfect, a hidden gem. He's the perfect like ideal candidate to be like a underdog that we root yeah. for. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot going for him, at least from an appearance standpoint. And some of his personality traits do kind of leave a lot to be desired compared to your usual protagonist. But that's, that's what creates the mystery behind him. Yeah, it's like one of those cases where he he was, you know, running around like the Emperor's new clothes, just all naked and everything. It's like just to get a friend to talk to that would just talk to him. Mm. And it's like... He's like a hidden gem. Like maybe all y'all had to do was talk to him the whole time, and you would have known he was pretty great all along. Right. I love this show. This this is so cute. He's just so cute and adorable though. I just love it, and I just love how that's actually the perfect kind of king in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Or not perfect kind of king, but you know, I mean, you should be feared, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, let a nigga second guess you, see what happened. Let him run up on you and see what's gonna happen to him. Yeah, but it's cool that um. He's a character that's kind of like, oh, you think he's a deaf mute, but he really hears it all. But he has to put on this act like he doesn't. And he has yeah. to stay like he's tone deaf, like he's not aware of all the things that are just being said. But yeah. sometimes, you know, it's hard to just keep up a facade and, you know, like act like you're not phased by certain things that are really just kinda hurtful. Kind of a kingpin who pretend like he couldn't understand all those other languages right yeah but this guy you know he he does it a lot you know i guess he wears his heart on his sleeve and he he's open to giving up his clothes to this shadow which um i'm still kind of like right it's like maybe he wasn't even doing it just for to have a friend maybe it's he, like he knows he's he wealthy he got yeah. money like that so he was like oh, he can sell my clothes i got a friend. and that's just he a, 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 a sign yeah that he'll give the shirt off his back yeah know? it's like maybe they're sitting there talking about he's a deaf mute idiot but really he's actually a good loyal person and a good king who would help his citizens or help yeah. his subjects so anyway i would give that an a plus for my first impression i'll give it an a let's get an a plus but A and A plus, that's still good. It's like this shit is most likely gonna cause me to lose money because you're gonna be wanting me to buy you like little boji plushies. And I'm already shit. gonna Google one the moment this is over. It's like she's gonna go boji crazy on this motherfucker. But there you have it, guys. An A plus and an A. We're gonna go ahead and keep it moving and go on the episode two, which is titled The Prince and Kage. 
And it might be a completely different title once we actually get the episode on. Like I say, these are probably the most accurate translations compared to like Funimation that likes to spaz it up a little bit, you know, put put a little p- pizzazz or style on it. So yeah, let's get it, man. Kage, I need you to keep running mm-hmm. by yourself now. What about you? Your mom shouldn't have any trouble with these men. But I can't fight them unless I know you're out of harm's way, so you have to keep running. I'll catch up with you in the toxic No, oh, she knew she wouldn't go catch up. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. You are so precious to me. Why are they like sweet now? now? Okay. Like a butt cheek. Like somebody just sat down and left a booty now imprint. Go. Quickly. You're kind of powerful in the shadows, but quite weak once exposed. Rather bold of you. Yes, Lon. What poison have you whispered in the king's ear? I hardly see any call for such accusations. Yeah, he set him up. Oh my god, that looks so. He like flags, but they're shadow people. A painless death, so save us the trouble and keep still. You gotta find some shade, bro. Mama ain't coming back, baby. No, she ain't. Oh, shit. You savages, man. Goodness, but you're stubborn one. Uh oh! Escaped, Kage. Mama won't be catching up. I baby Kruger? You were trying to buy time for that brat of yours, but I believe it was already captured by another patrol. Come on, man. My, if it isn't the young countess, Poise. Did a Shadow Clan child just pass by here, miss? Poise. What a creepy little girl. <laughs> Seriously. Went to the forest as expected. You have our thanks. Oh, wow. Did you finish it yet? No. It appears to have fled into the toxic forest, sir. Get after it, then. It might be his mom hanging from his sword. Yep. That's messed up, bro. Mama. Dude. Oh. What could be the matter? Please be on your way, sirs. You're frightening the young lady. We beg your pardon. Oh, guess what? Let us go. Oh, this ugly Laura Farquaad looking dude. <laughs> Farquaad. <laughs> He's so old, dude. And she was trying to cover up for him. As servants of King Bo, we offer our aid. Though this is all we have to give. You'll reach another kingdom further down this path. There you will find safety. Thank you very much. Aww. Thank you. Okay, at least he ain't been discriminated on. He's so cute with his little toy. You want them turkey legs? As long as they ain't one of the ones we had at that festival. Right. Why is this show so cute? It is hitting me in the feels. Seriously, it's like it's so charming. Remember he had to start robbing. He had to survive, man. He's like one of the yeah, last okay. members. I have a birthday present for you. Somebody adopt him and make him their little ink blot, please. Get back here right now! Hey! Oh my god, he's just a little baby. I see why he's the way he is now. And he has to lurk in the shop. Really? This nigga look a little creepy. He look, like. he look like he. he ain't I gave shit. you a piece of fish. Now you gotta work for me. Yeah, you gotta steal from from him or something. Or steal for him. Really, you gonna make my man do dishes? Basically, making him a slave. That's a little <laughs> shit. You need know, all the meaty goods. I give you food. I expect you to eat it. That's how sharecropping started. That? Or that's how it went. No, sir. Come to think of it. 
I might just need you to start bringing in some coin for my trouble. Get inside here and open the door for me. Look at this bald right. spot ass dude with this long ass hey. forehead. Receding hairline, quiet to motor. Unibrow. brow. Crimson chin having nice ass dude. Done. Ding, 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 ding. Let's go, man. Break bread. <laughs> you pulled it off, Shadow Buddy. <laughs> oh. Give me cute hands. He's swimming for Yeah, he didn't brought this poor innocent thing into a life of crime. Good work, buddy. And when it's all said and done, is he gonna be the one to get blamed? Right. Oh. A coin. What are you doing with the coins? Because you're still living in that raggedy ass place. Oh. Run, nigga. You gonna slide somewhere else? Little bullet head kingdom dudes over here. Why well, they show is ugly too. <laughs> bullet Bill. Look at that mask or is that they face? Oh wow. Oh my god, you ain't shit, bruh. For a few for a bag of coins, he gonna wait. We'll never find it in the dark. Who's here knocking at this hour? Huh? Huh? You? What are you doing back here? Oh my god. I'm done with you. Get lost already. Shoot! Scat! Steal something from his ass. <laughs> Damn. Please don't hurt me. You should watch what you're doing. <laughs> then you got the nerve to have Hercules voice. Got stabbed. Yeah, exactly. Give it up and get shanked up, nigga. <laughs> He deserved it. Dude said he was sorry. Oh. Get out of here. For this little <laughs> Captain last and long, we still got a good well. That was actually a really you know I hate recaps or not recaps, but flashbacks. Yeah, but that you, was a great flashback. It was right. so cute and sad. <laughs> you're not bad at all, Boji. I never realized Prince Boji was so capable. Yeah, you counted him out before he even started, you bastard. Raggedy ass dude. Yeah. Hey, that hey. Let's go. <laughs> Cluck at the club. Well, he hitting him soft. He could be beating his ass. He could. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes, Boji. You can tell what people are saying just by watching their lips. Your eyes and your inside are sharp. Right, he's probably got like a very. Daredevil? No. Exactly. He's he's on the verge of defeat. He can what reach your lips or something. You think he's losing? He clearly seems unable to defend himself. <laughs> Prince Boji lacks the strength to land a decisive blow. And if by some miracle he should... He's too caring to want to do that. Why would he want to kill his brother? He's not a dipshit. True. Cowardly. Underhanded. Disgusts me. He's a sneak. That's it. You got it, Boji. To those watching, it seems he's making sport of his opponent's desperate efforts. And that's turning them against him. But this kind of trickery is the only way for someone so weak to survive. Look at this bitter ass, so ugly what dude. You do, Prince Boji. Damn! You fight dirty, brother! How is he fighting dirty? Really, nigga? It's time to end this nigga right now because he is on some bullshit. What? What was that? Surely you needn't say it so coldly, Domus. Either way. It needed to be said. What? You have to lose on purpose. 
Look at him. He's trying to hurt you, too. Oh, my God. Now, you sat there and lost the whole time. Now, he had to fight dirty. Yeah, he, he, he basically has to forfeit this. People are probably looking at them. This they man, don't want him to be the, the king. They don't. They want to kill this boy, probably. Come on, somebody stop him, man. This bitch-ass nigga, man. Boy, look. They basically glad I'm not in this universe. I set that whole palace on fire. I just want to reach to the screen and give everybody a little hug, man. Like, especially my boy. Oh, my God, bro. Oh wow. Match over. Prince Dida has prevailed. Someone get him a doctor! Now! Oh gee. Huh? I know what you're trying to tell me. I'm sorry. But please understand. Shame on you for using such underhanded tactics, big brother. Oh my god, get your long nose ass. He saw his nose in the shadow. Again. In the shade before him. What exactly did Doma say to him? Well, let's just this nigga win. That is not the swordsmanship of a king. The two of you must trade blows. <laughs> then everything is playing out just as predicted. Excellent. Boy, this shit. Ooh. Welcome back. Yes, it would seem my path to the throne is clearing up quickly, just as you said it would. <laughs> Poor baby. Why should have made me so angry? With a short sword, he can't strike back decisively. Why would you allow this dude to get brutalized like this? And he was born under a star that won't let him grow stronger. I truly pity him. I shall return. I wouldn't want your ass to return. I want your ass dead. <laughs> Alright, these people gonna die, y'all. Don't answer that. I know it's tight. I want him out of here. Never count on guys like that. That's dirty swordplay! How cowardly! This is not the swordsmanship of a king. Why are y'all doing him like this? Because he's better than him and they know it. Man, I see why this dude Where just tries to get out of bed like that. do his best, but he has to cry alone. Don't tell me he's gonna try to kill himself. No, man, he's gonna hold the sword because he a G. He's a gangster. Grab that sword, boy. Damn. Oh, Jesus. Did. <laughs> You've got nothing to be embarrassed about. I was watching that match. You won that fight and made it look easy, okay? Hold your head up high, kid. That's right. You were doing just fine fighting your own ways. So don't let any of those fools tell you not to. Uh, hi. Listen, I'm not taking anything else from you anymore, got it? I don't know how this is going to sound, and I get that it's out of nowhere. I just, I'm on your side, all right? I want to see you win, my nigga. What happens? Boy, who wrote this? Who wrote this? Because you know what? And I mean what I'm saying. I, I would never thought to watch this. Now on, Boji. Always. I'm not going to cry on the damn show. You better. I will not. They ain't going to get me. Y'all ain't going to get me. I swear y'all ain't. Boy, y'all. Y'all ain't going to make me cry on this right here. Whoever wrote this. But Heck man. you. 
I can tell that this is going to be a story of perseverance because there's so much for Bochi to overcome, you know, and having uh, Kage at his side too, both of them have something in common because they both yeah. been dealt a cruel hand. Kage basically being probably the last of his kind, always being swatted away as like if he was just some yeah, useless just, insect. As though he was just nothing when he actually can do a lot. Right. Yeah. Boji being born under the star that I guess basically prevents him to grow into his true potential look or tap into his gene pool, which I'm guessing is like this huge giant, kind of like his dad boss. Man, I'd rather look like Boji than look like that pointy nose ass idiot and his mama. Right. And it looked like it's something weird going on behind that. Because yeah. he looked up in the mirror and. Mm-mm. Yeah, but that reflection I, was looking a little crazy. Yeah, it's like all these characters. What I like about all of the designs, even though they are pretty bizarre, is how they basically just insinuate the personalities of each character. Like the prince or the brother of Boji, he has a very long nose to kind of illustrate or describe his snobbiness, nose pointing in the air all the time. Right, yeah. It's like they, they don't want him to be the king. They don't. They don't. They don't want him to be the underdog and the win, and they don't want to see him win. So they will do anything they can to stop it. It doesn't matter if they're supposed to be on his side or not. Because mm-hmm. that dude in the blue is his sword instructor. Right. So you would think he was going to help him out, but nope. I yeah. think there's more to it, though. I, there's more to it. There's something going on here that's bigger than this. But now he knows he has a friend. Hopefully that puts a pep in his step and a glide in his stride. All right. I'm going to get this one at A plus again. Yeah, I'll give it an A plus too, man. This is a very heartfelt episode. Very much. And I like how there was a seamless transition from Kage's origin back to the main story. Yeah, you know. it went pretty, I won't say seamless because it was there, but it was like, it, it, was, it went well. It wasn't, uh, I like that it started with that. And then went to the main story. Instead of being in the main story, then going back. I hate that. Yeah. So I really like that. Whoever wrote this, you did a good job. You're doing a good job so far. Um, this is great. And I'm not going to crown this camera. Yeah, the animation, like the art style, it really lends itself to this world. You know, it kind of reminds me of like a, a classic kind of storybook that yeah. we were reading in elementary school. Except yeah. a little bit more First harsher. Vibes, definitely. A little bit more harsh, you know. Mm-hmm. But... It, 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 I'm just looking care of forward to these characters overcoming these different obstacles and seeing all the different things that they're gonna do. Not sure if it's gonna like do like a complete tonal shift and maybe it's gonna get a little more gory or brutal. I don't know, mm-hmm. but I welcome anything, any surprise that these writers got, man. So mm-hmm. we gonna see, man. There we go. You gotta get that Bruce Lee one. But uh, yeah, man. Um. Two A pluses, really enjoying this show, man. But anyways, that's all we got for you guys today. We hope you enjoyed our reaction. And if there's anything that we may have misconstrued, be sure to provide context in the comment section below. Also, if you guys want to get access to these episode reactions earlier, be sure to check us over on Patreon for only five dollars a month. But this is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife, Jenny, on the ones and twos. We intended reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction to Ranking of Kings. Peace.